Hey there, me again. So I've got a question in here in the ICT support community in our Viva Engage, and Michael Clarkson has asked, are you able to sync the departmental Outlook calendar with the Google calendar? So as we all know, everybody has access to both the Microsoft 365 suite and the Google Workspace for Education suite. Uh, but staff tend to use the Google, sorry, the Microsoft calendar for all of their calendar work. Uh, and their Google Calendar is mostly empty. But you can actually have it so that you can sync the content that you have from your Outlook Calendar into your Google Calendar. This one's showing a month. Let's change it to a week. So you can see that's pretty empty at the moment. Wouldn't it be good if uh, you could see all of the things that you're doing in your main work calendar in your Google Calendar, just uh, in case you happen to be in Google at the time and you need to see what's going on. So how do you go about doing it? You can do it, and uh, it's a slightly different way than you think you would do it, but let's uh, give it a go. If you jump into your Outlook calendar, now note I'm in Outlook webmail at the moment rather than the desktop app, so you go to outlook.office.com and sign in. Um, jump over to your calendar and you'll see all of your events in there. Then click on this little gear icon top right, and the one you want is calendar, and on the left, on the um, view menu here, you need to choose the option that says shared calendars. When you do that, what you want to do, and just move out of the way, is choose this option to publish a calendar. And what you want to do is select your calendar. I want the my own personal calendar, which is just called calendar. Uh, now, if you were wanting to share the school calendar, for example, if you had access to the school calendar, you'd see that listed in there and you could select that. Uh, you can select permissions in here, and this is where you say, what do you want to see in this external calendar? Um, you can choose the option can view when I'm busy only, which means just block out the areas when I'm unavailable, and they'll show up as blocked areas, but you won't know what they are. Uh, you can say can view titles and locations, or can view all details, which means everything that's inside the event, which means links to meetings, um, any Zoom meetings, Teams meetings, Google Meet meetings, any um, venues, all that sort of stuff. So you don't want to um, necessarily share all of that detail. You probably just want to view titles and locations. And then what you do is click Publish. And what it's going to do is share a couple of links with you. And the one that you want is this one, ICS. So if you click on that once, you can choose Copy Link. And it will say the link is copied. That's great. And then what we're going to do with that, I'll come back down here, put this away. Then we're going to jump across to our Google Calendar. And what we want to do is go to other calendars here and add one. And what we're doing is adding one from a URL. And what the URL is, is the one that we just copied. So we go Control V to paste that. Uh, and then whether you want to make the calendar publicly accessible, that's uh, up to you. It depends on the type of calendar that you're wanting. Um, I don't want to, I just want this in my Google Calendar, so uh, I will see it only for myself. And then I'll choose Add Calendar. And what this will do is calendar created, fetching the events in the background. So it's getting that calendar, grabbing all of that information for me automatically. Now, the other thing you'll notice here is settings for other calendars, and it's got one here called Outlook.Office, which is the one that I just created. If I click on this, I can actually rename it to something more useful. So I can get rid of all that there because that URL is down here. And what I can type in is Stu's Outlook Calendar. So that now says Stu's Outlook Calendar. I think I typed that right. And uh, might even be an extra something there. And I now have um, all of that information set up. I can add some other notifications, add some other um, settings and options to this calendar if I want to. But just jump back out of there and into settings. And you can see that I actually have that ticked now. I can turn it off or on. And these are all the entries that have come across from my Outlook calendar. So that is how you do it. As you make changes on the Outlook end, it will change in your Google Calendar. I'm pretty sure it's only a one-way sync from Outlook to Google. So if you change things in here, it's not necessarily going to go back and change them in your Outlook Calendar. Anyway, I hope that helped, Michael, uh, and that
Calendar is how you can sync your department Outlook Calendar with Google Calendar. See you in the next one.